Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about component attributes. So, in the last tutorial what we have done is in our component we have defined two at three attributes, but let's say this time we will be defining these the attribute inside of our application. So how to do that? We will go ahead and we will define an attribute. It's the same way we have defined in the component. We just use this uh, namespace called aura and then we say attribute and then this attribute has two things, the name of the attribute and the type of the attribute. So let's say the name of my attribute is val1. This is the name of my attribute. And then the value of or the type of the attribute is let's say is of string type. So I want you to go ahead and say it's of the string type. Now if you wanted to say default, if you wanted to provide some default values, let's say we'll say world is the default value here. So now you have defined an attribute inside of your application and then what you're doing here is you are you're just saying hello and if I wanted to display the display this val1 how will I do I will use an expression which is basically starts with the curly braces and then exclamation mark v dot of val1 that is the name of my attribute so if I go back here and I run my application it will go ahead and display me the value of this particular val1 which is equals to world okay so we will go ahead and run this and now this time it's going to go ahead and say hello world because the world is nothing but the value which is stored into this variable called val1. Let's say if I change this to Deepika. So now what will it display? Now it will go ahead and display these particular it to say hello Deepika. But let's say I wanted to instead of Deepika if I wanted to provide something in the URL I can do that. I can say val1 that is the name of my uh, attribute val1 is equals to you can say uh, my tutorial rack so this is what I'm providing so now if I go ahead and run this then it will say hello my tutorial rack if you go ahead and change the value here and we'll say YouTube so we'll say hello YouTube so basically this is an attribute that you are using for your application so this is one of the attributes and which is needed by this application. So here it is. Let's say you have another attribute here. I'll call it as val2. So you go ahead and specify here. You go ahead and create another attribute here. We'll call it as control v. This time the name of the attribute is this one. And if you wanted to use this, you can just go ahead and say exclamation mark val2. And then we're going to say v dot of that too. So this is what you have to use. And right now it is saying the pika, you can say it as kana. So this is the default value you are using. So here if you go back and run the application, this time it will say hello the pika kana. So this is what it is going to go. And now if I wanted to change the value here, so you can go ahead and say question mark val2 is equals to a u l a k h. So it's going to be the pika alok. Okay, so you can provide these values here from the through the application in the URL itself. So this is called as the component attributes. So basically, you are providing these attributes inside of your application and then you can change the values of these attributes through the browser itself, changing it into the parameter. So you can just go ahead and add this value here and you can basically display it here. So this is called as the component attributes.